Good morning, everybody. This is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a teacher blogger who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacherpreneurs, and all things that might hopefully make your life a little bit easier, or at least entertaining. Today, I am really excited to be vlogging because it is the last day of school. I feel like I should play the hallelujah chorus behind that. I don't know if I can find that, but I will try. Um, because it, oh, I am just so excited as everyone is on the last day of school. Um, this year, I feel like it came quickly. Last year was my first year teaching and oh good gracious, I thought it was never gonna end. Um, and this year we got out the same time. I think last year we got out May 18th. This year it's May 17th. And this year it was like, I looked up and all of a sudden it was the end of the year. Like we had our last concert last Tuesday. And when that got over, I was like, where did the time go? Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's a different schedule or just because it's not my first year anymore or what, but it just, it was like shocking to me. Oh my goodness. I still can't believe it. I'm like, it's the end of school. Like now, really? Um, not that I'm complaining or sad but still. Um, so today I don't really know what to expect. Um, in my county, it's fairly normal for the kids to skip the last day of school. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we had very few students, especially like the fifth graders had graduation yesterday. So I'm really not expecting them to show up or, you know, maybe a couple of them, but not many. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, you know, I could have a full class. I could have like nobody. I do have to travel to the teacher's classrooms, but if there's only like two or three students last year, a lot of the teachers were like, yeah, we're fine. Just go like, there's no one here. And I was like, okay. So today my main thing is that I need to get my stuff cleaned up. Um, we're supposed to have everything cleaned by like Monday afternoon, I think Monday morning, I don't know, sometime on Monday. So I need to get a lot of things cleaned up. I did start yesterday. I got everything off of my walls. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, right this second, I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. I stopped at Chick-fil-A to get a celebratory breakfast and I ate my chicken biscuit in the car, but the yogurt was a bit much for me and I really, really, really wanted their yogurt. You know, me and my low carb with the yogurt. Um, so I am going to eat this really quickly because I absolutely love their yogurt. It, I don't know what it is, but it is so delicious. And then I also have a coffee. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to check my email and then I'm going to get to work. So yogurt has been eaten. As far as my room goes, I still need to put up all these headphones. I need to put this bookshelf in a closet and pull out. I'm gonna take some of my books home over this summer because I plan to make some TBT products about some of my books. Um, these things, this plant needs to go in my pile to take home, um, like the flashcards I need to put somewhere, um, all of my center stuff I need to organize and so that it's easy to find next year because this is like, you know, end of the year centers versus next year will be beginning of the year centers. Um, I need to, find a place for these xylophones and that kind of stuff because they can't sit here obviously um deal with all these papers the envelopes from my envelope system um all of these copies i asked on instagram yesterday if you keep this is from my string instruments unit this was really helpful this year i asked in on instagram yesterday if you keep copies or if you just throw them away because Really and truly, you're probably just gonna print them back off the computer. And everybody, like 100%, said just throw them all out. Um, so I think I will for the most part. However, um, if I have like almost a class set of something like this, I have almost a whole set, I'm going to keep it. The reason is because I've had many times the last couple months where I have either like needed sub plans and the copier was broken for like two weeks or I needed something just to grab and take to a class when I suddenly found myself going to them instead of them coming to me and things like that were like, I just need something quick and now. So if I have a good bit of them, I'm gonna keep them. Um, but other things I'll just throw away. Like I have in here, what's this? 
Oh, I'll probably keep my treble clef practice. This is from my treble clef sub plans, but like my post tests that I put in too many copies of, I probably am not gonna need those because there's, you know, maybe 10 copies here when I need enough for a whole grade. Um, it feels a little bit wasteful to me, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to be really, really cluttered. Um, over here, the things on top will need to go somewhere safer. Hula hoops need to go away. Trombone needs to go away. But everything else, I'm just going to keep on the bookshelves and turn them around. We're supposed to put them in the hallway, but I asked the custodian that does my room and she was like, oh no, I don't want you to put your stuff in the hallway because, you know, it's, you know, got like instruments. And I think she's mostly just going to clean like the middle portion of my room where the kids actually are, which is fine. Um, over here, I need to take up all of the cords and push the tables up as far up as I can and then cover all the keyboards with the cover so they don't get disgusting over the summer and stack all the chairs. Um, this is my pile of stuff that goes on my walls. You can see I've taken everything off the walls. It always looks so bare, like my paintings are gone, all the stuff off my word wall, all the things I had over in this corner, everything off my board. Oh, it looks so strange when you take everything down. Um, this is my pile of stuff that's coming home with me over the summer. It's not quite everything and I do have three days next week So it's not like the end of the world These are the shoes I was wearing yesterday and took off because they were hurting my feet. They don't normally hurt my feet That's kind of weird. Um, and then there's this hot mess So the recorders need to come home with me and I need to wash them one final time this weekend and everything else over here needs to find a home Wish me luck. I am also going to take down my bulletin board which by the way, has been up since March. All right, it is almost my lunch time. I did accomplish some stuff. I got my whole bulletin board down right before I had to go to my last duty post of the year. I hate my morning duty, so I'm really excited that I don't have to do that for at least two months and hopefully my get transferred to something else. Um, it's just, it stinks. Um, so I was surprised at how many kids there were today. My third grade had almost their entire class. My fourth grade had about 10, which wasn't terrible. Um, and then my fifth grade had 14. Like they had graduation ceremony yesterday. Why are they here? Actually, I asked the teacher, I was like, why are they here? And she was like, that's what I was wondering. I don't know. And I'm like, ugh. Okay, last year for reference, um, Last year, my third grade had about half its kids. Fourth grade had about five. And then my fifth grade had maybe three or four. So just so you know where we are. I peeked into my first grade and it looks like almost all their kids were here today. So it's fine, it's fine. You know, I do love them. However, I am in that like, it's the last day of school. We're not doing anything mentality. Um, apparently they don't do that at every school. My husband's. I grew up in this school district, so that's very normal to me. My husband grew up in the district over one, and so he was like, yeah, in our school, like, everybody came the last week of school, and I was like, why? <laughs> like, no, we, we, we don't play that here. Um, so, yeah, um, I got my bulletin board down. It has been up since March, y'all. Like, two full months that thing has been out there, and I just finally <laughs> ripped it down. Um, so I need to clean up my room. I'm actually here a little bit early because my fifth grade teacher, she was like, we're just cleaning the room. So she like went and did some errands and then she came back and she was like, you can leave. So I got out like 20 minutes earlier. So I'm gonna clean some stuff up. Oh, now that I can see, in case you're wondering, I want to talk a little bit about my Pura Vida bracelets. I'm not gonna talk too much because I actually have a June outfits video coming out with this whole outfit. Yes, it'll say June, even though I'm filming it in May, I'll explain at the beginning of that video, so you can watch that and not worry about it here. Um, but I have these Pura Vida bracelets, which I love. I have gotten like super, super into Pura Vida everything. Um, they have a ton of stuff. So I have these three are like their original bracelets, and then I have some earrings that I'm wearing actually that are from there too. Um, they're like these really cute bracelets. 
these are string. They also have like metal ones and they have um, ones with charms on them. These are like the original versions of them. So this one is called Arctic something. I can never remember what this one's called. This one is called Good Vibes and this one's called Coral Reef in it. So I'm wearing those three. And then my earrings are also from there. And they are these little waves and they are so stinking cute. I love them. They come in gold and silver and they also have like a matching necklace and they have two different bracelets and a ring. So I am going to order some things that match that. I just haven't decided if I want the ring or the necklace or all of the things. <laughs> so we shall see. Um, if you are interested in any of those things, I will link them down below and I will also leave my referral code. So if you use Becca Davis 20 at any point, even like six months from now, if you're like, oh, hey, I wanted to buy some bracelets for someone for a present. Oh, I know they had a referral link. Becca Davis 20, anytime you get 20% off and then I actually get 10%, which is really stinking cool. So like you get a deal and I get a little bit of a kickback, which, you know, ends up being... 50 cents, <laughs> but still it's something. So if you want to support the channel, that'd be a great way to do it. Or you could always, you know, go buy myself on TVT or yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to clean some stuff up, but first I'm going to find some ibuprofen because I am in so much pain. I don't know what is wrong with me. I've had a headache every single day since Saturday. Um, I thought it was my contacts. So I went a couple days without wearing contacts and was just wearing my glasses and I still had a headache. Then I thought maybe it was not drinking enough water and I've had so much water the last couple of days because I thought that's what was causing it. Not that. So I'm thinking maybe it's just the pollen or I don't know, change of seasons. I don't know something, but it is brutal. And today my back is hurting as well. I'm not really sure why, if maybe it's just from my run this morning or we went, my husband and I went and played tennis last night. <laughs> I got home and I got home from school and I immediately went to the pool and went swimming and read some books. And then my husband got home at like 7.30. We ate some salad for dinner and then we went and played tennis at like 8 o'clock at night. So, you know, who doesn't do that? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm in pain. So I'm going to find something to quell that and I'm going to clean up. history of the world. Um, let me show you just briefly what I've accomplished. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but it is, it's getting there. So the bookshelf is getting cleared off. Some things will stay. The clipboards will stay. This is all staying. This is all staying. I'll probably end up putting these on here with like my centers things. This is one of my favorite things in the world. It is a bunch of photo boxes in a big box. So it's got like bingo chips, it has my kaboom games, it has dice, um, just all sorts of things. So I've been putting things into those, um, cleaning out all of my center boxes from the last set of centers, and then um, getting all my flashcards organized. Um, this is one of those things that worked well last year and is not gonna work next year. I have this file folder of flashcards and it has everything so these are like my somi law flashcards i have these are the ones for my charlie over the ocean set i have some that are specific to each song so i have like scotland's burning and i labeled those i have ifle aquel i have lucy locket i have all my fish flashcards in here that i use have been using on repaint lately Ooh, so we have still on me these are so me lot and they also have so me lot dough in the equal aqua pack and it does have a full treble clef on the one that you use for some reason when i do it on powerpoint and print it from there it doesn't work but on the pdf it works so you'll have a full one um so this used to work really well i have a bunch of rhythm cards in here too but now it is like busting at the seams so i'm gonna need to find something new for that next year if you have suggestions please let me know it hasn't been an issue because i hang them here like the ones that i'm using right now so it's not really a big deal during the school year but to pack them up like that's not gonna work 
Alright, so I am about to run out to my first grade class and I'll check back with you later. Guess who forgot to finish out her vlog again? <laughs> um, so I just got home. I was obviously really excited to leave today because I'm now done with school. I mean, I have three days of post planning, but still there's not gonna be any children there. So I'm very excited. I got a ton of stuff clean, not quite everything, but I can finish up on Monday and yeah, I'm excited. Got some orders in, so I'm gonna get some new things next for next year. And now I'm home. My dogs are being dogs out there. And yeah, um, I have a ton of summer content coming out that I've got planned. So make sure that if you haven't already that you subscribe so that you can see all of that. And if you have anything that you want to see, any questions, ideas for lessons, ideas for teacherpreneur stuff, anything, if you wanna see anything, just let me know what you are interested in because the more that I know about what you're interested in, the better I can do it. And happy summer.